Yeah. All right, we're going back in. We're going back in. All right, I'm back up. Latency is back up. Lord, have a Lamborghini mercy. <laughs> okay, we're finishing this. <laughs> Indeed, Ismael. <laughs> it's going to work. It's going to work, I promise. Time to finish this. I'm determined. We're finishing a podcast today, guys. <laughs> no options. All right, well, let's go ahead and just let's skip ahead to final thoughts. Point is, guy that owns Treasure Island, nicer hotel, is buying Circus Circus. So do you think this is a better thing for Treasure Island um, now that they're going to have another hotel kind of in their portfolio? Or do you think this is a better thing for MGM because now they have fewer hotels and they can use this money to do something else? It depends on how – what is the long-term goal of both? You know, it's not entirely clear. I mean, it, it's a big deal to have a Vegas hotel on the Strip, especially since they basically print money. Yeah. I mean, and, and they're expensive things to get to. But on the other hand, it's really difficult to kind of figure out what else to do. It, it depends because I, I think that people are so over Circus Circus to the point where if you don't try another – if you don't try a new – business move then you're basically saying we just don't care anymore there's also that there is that um yeah i mean at this point i'm kind of thinking it's a it's a good thing for mgm except for excalibur but i'd like to see them use the money to clean up excalibur and luxor a little bit which i think are theoretically very great properties especially luxor drastically underrated that's the one that you went to with the hotel, with the pyramid but i really miss the theming behind it i'd like them to refresh the theme Ooh, like for circus circus too I, I just feel like it's very very bland it's a very uh cookie cutter hotel room like hotels like that the one that that i went to now this year it was all it, it the experience of it was different the feel was different uh there it's very bland very boring in terms of you know looking at it from an adult and this is the first time i've ever been there in my entire life and i got that you know uh interpretation of them from that and that was like wow i probably if i had the money i would probably never come here ever again it right was just sad. Like, so what's one thing you would do to improve it so what do you think phil ruffin should do to make circus circus better uh probably somehow do a remodel not of, of the place the place is overall is fine the businesses are fine the issue is i think that it has this overall boring look to it like it's it's mar it's marketed for kids and i i think that they need to understand you're in vegas and kids obviously don't pay for this stuff adults do this is true uh, uh I, I, you know as a father though i'll disagree because kids do pay for this stuff they just pay with your money no Yes. No, that's exactly how fatherhood works. My daughter, when she turns 18 and wants a giant college fund, I'm going to tell her, you, you you, need to actually just go get a job. <laughs> that's right. what I'll tell her. Jane, Good luck. A, yeah, yeah, you yeah. say that now. Good luck. It's not going to It's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, no, because you're, you're like me. You're going to be a pushover. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm stern. Yeah, yeah, you think that now. <laughs> Awesome. You know, honestly, I think the big thing that I want to see with Circus Circus, aside from it being bulldozed, um, what I really want to see is just uh, just kind of return to form, um, clean up the theming a bit, get some fresher sort of thing, maybe a Cirque du Soleil theme. I'd like to see Circus de Cirque du Soleil or something like that. And that would bring me back. That would get me there. Also, if they can fix the room so they don't smell like sewage anymore. That's what I want. See, the that and there was another thing. The rooms, the rooms themselves, they're like a, a bore, a snooze fest. Yeah, they're they're hurting. Those were those were hurt, painful rooms to to be in. So I, I couldn't even. Like I had I had a mate that that went up there, went to go visit him, and he had one of the newer tower rooms, one of the nice rooms, and it was a basic room at best at any other hotel on the strip, and it actually it, it smelled like it smelled like Brooklyn. I'm not talking about the Brooklyn you guys know. I'm talking about the Brooklyn I grew up in, where it did smell what like you could smell. The sewers, and you were wondering, oh, are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here, or do they just open a manhole? It smelled like garbage, wet garbage. And it was bad. Oh, my goodness. I think maybe try something with the way new businesses do it, where you have, like, a logo that people can go off of. Because they have that 
old man circus clown guy logo. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's so and it's outdated. been there since 1960. But everything is paid off is the, kind of their shtick, though. It's like it's all paid off. They don't have to really put any money into something that's all paid off. And, you know, as long as they're paying the staff and they're still banking on the slot machines, which is what a lot of casinos do, and that's where they make their money from, it's hard to kind of get them to – to do anything so i'm really hoping that phil wants to do something with this but he's also the guy that got rid of the pirate show it's the issue that maybe just because it's paid off that shouldn't give you a lore that people enjoy being there i always didn't i was never like that because that means you're just able to just willing to accept anything just for the basis of the fact that are they really saving money though i mean to be fair people still go pay for the place even though they call it bad so people are still giving them money but they could theoretically make more money, and I, I think that that's overall something that they would want to do, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully they'll consider that, too. Um, but, yeah, what do you guys think? You know, let us know in the comment section below or live chat, too. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and shut down the podcast, though, because I've had too many close calls, and I'd just like to end this on a high note. Um, so, overall, we're thinking Circus Circus, hopefully Phil cleans the place up, and hopefully... MGM uses the uh, money to clean up Excalibur, and I think Ismail actually agrees with us here in the uh, in the live chat. Add a stripper pole and then a strip club to it, and now you're t- now you're popping. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right. This anything, anything for me. This is for my benefit only. Nobody else. Explicitly for Master Swagging. Uh, speaking yes. of which, uh, special thanks to Master Swag King for coming out here. Hey, man, thanks for sticking with us and sticking with these random ass internet drops I keep dealing with. I'm gonna have to call up, uh, call up my internet company and see what's going on here because I am, uh, I'm a little furious about it. Let's go. Yeah, it was fun being here. Obviously, you know, I love, I love doing stuff, stuff like this. It's always a very, very fun interaction just talking to people talking to someone giving their other perspective even though it's always a downer when the internet goes out i've been the recipient of that it's just the worst thing ever and i have no idea what's going on because nothing else went off aside from the live stream so it's so weird so oh oh yeah oh it was funny it was funny that you mentioned that i was like i never knew you actually got this many people I thought you were still at like 800 subscribers. Like, wait, he's almost 2002. Oh, yeah, no, 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 we we, we blown up. So, yeah, I'm coming up on that 2000 with you, man. We're going to celebrate that 2000 together. Sub to me first, guys. (laughs) Too late. They're they're sub to me. But, yeah, you guys go ahead and go check out Master Swagging. If you like gaming and uh, Major League Gaming, he's a great way to – Great way to get into that. Does market watches too. Helps you spend your money wisely in gaming. So, definitely go ahead and drop him by. And we're really glad that he was here. I I spend my money on crack. (laughs) Late crack. Well, I guess crack. I'm. I, I guess I'm definitely not going to censor. So, <laughs> since I don't believe in censorship, we already went down rock bottom. Basically, we're, we it can't literally get worse. There's the bottom of the barrel, and on that bombshell, I'm going to go ahead and say Ace of Vegas is signing out, and I'm going to wish you guys strong hands and happy spending. And I cannot remember if you have a sign off. I'm MSK all day, every day, guys. All Peace. right, and we're going to go ahead and call that a night. Good night, everybody. Love me. Give me subs. <laughs>